Hi, my name is Alex Spencer, and this is a tutorial for Tuts Plus. When Apple released OS X Yosemite, they released it with a wealth of new features. The most valued one by far is the ability to send and receive SMS text messages or phone calls via the Mac computer instead of the iPhone itself. Now thanks to Yosemite, these calls and texts may be redirected to the computer. This creates a beautifully seamless workflow. In fact, the workflow is so seamless that Apple has dubbed the new feature Continuity Mode. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up and use Continuity Mode between the Mac and the iPhone. You'll learn how to set up Continuity Mode on the Mac, set it up on the iPhone, and make a call and send a text message on your Mac through your iPhone. Let's get started! Continuity Mode only works if your Mac has OS X Yosemite installed on it, so make sure you have the latest upgrade. Go to the Apple in the top left corner, and then go to About This Mac. The screen that appears should show OS X Yosemite and then give you a version number. As long as it says Yosemite, you're good to go. Continuity mode also requires that both the Mac and the iPhone are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So at the top menu bar, click on the Wi-Fi icon and take note of the Wi-Fi network that you're currently connected to. You'll also need to have Bluetooth enabled. Go to System Preferences, click Bluetooth, and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Once you've made sure your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are set up, go back to System Preferences and then General, and make sure Allow Handoff between this Mac and your other iCloud devices is enabled. Now that we have Continuity Mode set up on the Mac, let's take a look at how you can set it up on the iPhone. First, make sure the iPhone is on the same Wi-Fi network as the Mac by going to Settings and then Wi-Fi. Bluetooth must be enabled on the iPhone as well. Go back to Settings, Go to Bluetooth and make sure that's turned on. Now go to Settings, then General, then Handoff and Suggested Apps, and make sure Handoff is turned on. Lastly, go back to Settings, go to Phone, and if you see Wi-Fi calling, make sure that is turned off. I'm on Verizon, and as of this recording, T-Mobile is the only carrier that supports Wi-Fi calling, so I don't see that option on my phone. Now that you have continuity mode set up, let's take a look at how you will place a call through your Mac using your iPhone. First, launch FaceTime. When FaceTime launches, your camera will turn on, and I've blocked it just so you don't have to look at me while I do this. You can use the search bar to enter in a name, email, or phone number to call, or you can use your recent history. I'm going to call my wife. Under FaceTime audio, you'll see call using iPhone, and then it'll give me her phone number to call. When I click on it, It'll fire up the call, her phone will start ringing, and before she can answer, I'm going to go ahead and hang up. To send a text message through your Mac via the iPhone, simply fire up Messages, then click the Create New Message button, type the person you'd like to send the message to, and hit Enter. You'll notice that Corey's name shows up in green. That means he's not on iMessage, so it'll go through my iPhone as a regular text message. If I send it to my wife, her name shows up in blue, which means I'll be using iMessage. To prove that you're sending a real text and not just an iMessage, which was possible before OS Yosemite came out, I'm going to send a message to Corey. And I can guarantee this is a text message because I know he has an Android phone. I'm going to quickly type up a message I've been meaning to send to Corey all morning. And I'll hit enter. And I've successfully sent a text message via my iPhone using continuity mode. You may not notice how much of a time saver being able to keep your iPhone in your pocket while working really is until you try it. Whenever you receive a phone call or text, you can immediately deal with it without having to fumble around for your phone. Being able to see the caller and send them to voicemail is also incredibly time saving. In this tutorial, I showed you how to set up continuity mode on your Mac, set it up on your iPhone, and send a text and make a phone call on the Mac through the iPhone. Yosemite's new continuity mode will be, hands down, the best addition to your workflow. But don't take my word for it. Set up continuity mode for yourself and give it a spin. Let me know how it goes in the comments below. Thanks for watching.